peace and blessings, everyone. This is Voyager Shemayim. And I just had a very powerful dream. All glory goes to Yahweh and his son, Yahshua. And I thank him for the power and the energy. His energy, his activation, his activating force. We call the Ruach HaKadosh or the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Um, and even now, you know, I still feel his presence. So I'm grateful for that. And this is audio only because I just woke up. So I don't have no clothes on. Ha ha. Uh, um, but this is a very serious message and a serious call that I am sending out and transmitting into all the world right now. Um, also, healing crystals are a blessing. When I tell you, healing crystals are a blessing. I went to sleep with some rose quartz. I got two bracelets that I've strung myself. And I got a, a pendant. And my intention and my prayer to Yah was um, clarity. Clarity, clarity, clarity. The energy of clarity. The anointing of clarity. The spirit of clarity. Because I need clarity concerning some things. And I need a clearing to take place in me energetically for some things that I'm getting ready to do. There's some... I don't even know why I'm sharing this. I'm supposed to be going into the dream. But I guess somebody needs to hear it. There's some prophetic words that I have received that I need the word of wisdom to come now. I need the instructions now. You're telling me to build this. You're telling me to create this. I need the instructions now on how to do that, where to do it. And if I'm working with someone or, you know, if it's who, who's the people. So anyway, I went to sleep this morning. At like 7 o'clock, 7.30. You know how empaths and prophetics do. And I was taken into a dream. And the dream is this. I was with two young women. They were, they were black. Two young women. And I knew them. Now, one of them... I know her in real life, but the second one, I didn't see, you know, I didn't see who she was. To be honest, I didn't see either of them, but I heard their voices. And I'm going to tell you why I only heard their voices. Um, But where the scene started, it was almost like. Uh, I was under a under under the train station. Now, if you're from New York City or any other place where there's a, where there's a subway, and it is you're on the street, but the subway is overhead, then you kind of get the imagery that I'm trying to paint for you here. So it's almost like I'm around that area because. I don't know what it was that these two females were going through, but whatever it was, it had them to the point where they were about to commit suicide together. Um, one of them was a mother of, I believe, two or three children. I don't know if the details matter, but I'm just sharing it because this is what I saw. I don't sense that the other one had children at all, but one had a whole family. Like she had three little, three young children that she was getting ready to leave behind. And um, I'm not even sure at this point if they wanted me to do it with them. I just can't pick that up or sense that right now. 
But I do know that right before I was in close proximity to them. And it was almost as if the, the one that had no children, she was really the battery um, to the whole event that was about to and did happen. Um, it was like she was really the energy or the culture. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my memories coming back. It was actually three of them. I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute. It's actually three of them. I'm sorry. It just came back to me. Uh, so this one with no children was like really the battery to it. The one with the kids was thinking about it as well. But the one, the one, without, the one without the kids was really the battery like, yo, let's do this, you know, Forget, you know, we're out. Let's just do this. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just go through with it, basically. Now. Hmm. I'm sorry, pause. That more is coming to me. So. I'm I'm led to believe because remember it was three. I only really remember tapping into two of them because it was the two that actually went through with the suicide. And basically how they did this was they jumped off the subway platform to their deaths. And they, you know, they they made sure that they fell in, in a fell in a way that they would die. And um while I was there and I was not down with it at all. And I turned my back and I was walking the other way. I said, look, I don't want no parts of this. I don't want the cops to catch me. I don't want the cops asking me no questions. I'm, I turned my back. I said, uh-uh. Because it was like, if you, you know, if this is what y'all want to do, y'all know this is wrong. Y'all know this is not the way. This is not, this ain't it. I didn't want no parts of me. So I turned my back and I walked away. While I was walking away, they both jumped, and as they were on their way to the ground, the one without the children was screaming something to me. I cannot remember, nor can I remember if it was in reference to her children. I just can't remember what she was saying, but I know she was screaming something to me on her way to the ground and then they hit the ground bam um the third one at first i thought that it was the single mother and the battery no now i realize that the single mom the unknown person they're the ones that committed suicide. The battery, <clears throat> I'm calling her the battery because she's the one who really initiated it. What would have been, what would have been a triple suicide, but ended up being a, a double. The battery, who actually was the one who was initiating the triple, or what would have been the triple suicide, she had a change of heart. That's why she was not there. I'm going somewhere. And the only reason why I know this is because after I went about my business, I went to go see, or as I was passing by, I ran into um, the superintendent of the, of the private building that I live in. And he was like, yo, you know, da, 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 da. did you just hear this craziness, this and that? And I was just shaking my head. I was like... Look, I don't even want to deal with that right now. That's just crazy. That's that's on them. I don't know why they did that. Blah, 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 blah. That, that's kind of was my response in the dream. Um, he was the one that told me was like, you know, it's basically like he was saying, and that's a damn shame. The one who's sitting there initiating it and, and saying that we should do this was the one who had a change of heart, didn't even tell 
the other two sisters and let them go kill themselves. And now she had to change her heart. And now she's still alive. I was like, whoa. So this is like, this is how I know that the one who was the battery, she changed her mind and let other two kill themselves. So I get back to my house, wherever I was living in that dream, which is a building somewhere. And I'm like, just trying to put that thing out of my head as best as I could. Then I get a knock at the door. Oh my God. It's a detective. It's a lady the fit detective. And well, well, either she was a detective or a social worker. She probably was a social worker because she brought the lady's kids to my house. And I was I was pissed off about it, to be honest, because I was like, you know, basically I didn't sign up for this. This lady, this woman killed herself off of her own will. Why is these children, why are you bringing these children to me? What am I supposed to do? You see, I, so I don't know if it is that she, you know, I don't, I don't know how that works. Behind my back or, you know, um, what you might call it. Signed over the, 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 the custody of the children. I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is that this lady came to my house, knocked on the door, and was bringing the children to me. Uh, so, some other stuff happened in the dream, but I don't think it's applicable here. The dream, it took another direction after that. But, the prophetic message that I am sitting, sending out to you and transmitting to you is you better not do it don't do it do not under no circumstances allow someone to encourage you to follow them or their advice to run into a burning building with them so whether that's in the form of you know, them trying to involve you in something, some kind of business deal, um, some risk taking, or an actual suicide. Don't do it. Yahweh is saying to you and warning you, don't do it. That is not the way. That is not the way out that he has chosen for you, I'm warning you, don't follow nobody and basically commit suicide. As I said, rather than that is you actually go kill yourself or your actions and decisions you will take in a metaphoric sense is a suicide. You know, like how they say he went on a suicide mission or they she she committed career suicide like that. That's what I mean. Doing something that is so risky that it's like you are signing up to die. You are signing up to fall hard. You're signing up to you, you know you you it's like you're committing suicide in that way. You're you're adults, so you can make sense out of what I'm saying. Don't do it. You know, something that's so that's so emphasized in that dream was the punk or the coward, the quitter. She was the one trying to organize the event with herself and the two young ladies to do it. Let's all kill ourselves together. Let's all commit suicide together. And when they was getting ready to do it, she wasn't there. She done changed her mind. The other two didn't even know. And they went and killed themselves. And she done changed her mind. And now she's still alive. So my warning again to you. Don't do it. That's a suicide mission. It is as, you have, as, as if you are committing suicide in that decision. Whether it is literal or some other form. Of what would be considered signing up to die. Don't.
do it. That's not the way. Because the end result, if you do that, I don't care what type of super I don't care what type of suicide you commit. The Lord is saying your end result is going to be hellfire. Whether you're going to the literal place or you about to experience hell on earth in your life because of your decision and the suicide mission you allow somebody to take you on. Because what's going to end up happening is that person that is encouraging you to do such and such and such at the last minute my God, they're going to pull out on you. And you won't be able to stop the slippery slope. They will because they have something up their sleeve that they didn't tell you about. So they'll be able to stop, but you won't. And in essence, you're going to have to go through with it. You too, whoever you two are. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I know this video is for somebody. I'm, I'm sure. And as they watch this, just know, and, that they, and, and as they listen to the instruction of this video, just know that your destiny and purpose in the Lord is being preserved and that there's a change that is happening in you right now. Just hold on. Don't let go. Just hold. Hold on. Just endure a little longer. You let that person who's trying to get you to commit suicide, you let them go ahead and do that. Don't let them involve you. Don't let them encourage you to do it. Don't let them sacrifice you. Mm -mm. You pray and you stay close to the feet of Yahshua in intercession and in prayer. You stay, you stay humble. And I'm telling you, you will watch with your eyes and see the reward of the wicked. You will see and hear and you will be saying, oh my gosh, I was just about to join and do this and sign up with this. I was just about to go with this person to da, 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 da. I was just thinking, man, I'm tired and I don't want to do this no more. Oh my gosh, because you're going to see the manifestation. You're going to be thanking the Lord. And you're going to be thanking this prophet who's sharing his dream with you. Because the Lord has spared you. And he's trying to spare you. So, I put before you the two decisions. Is either you go ahead and do the suicide mission. Or you endure the pain for a little longer. And experience the glory that Yahweh has for you. Once again, I am Voyager Shemayim. Voyager of the heavens, the galaxies, the realms, the planes, my Lord, the multiverses, the planets, the stars, I am he. Humbly, I say unto you and your family, may the blessing of the Lord never depart your house. May no plague come nigh your dwelling in this pandemic. May you find increase in all forms. May you find happiness and joy in all forms happening in your life. And may God begin to continue to prune and remove from your life all of the individuals that are not conducive to where he's taking you in life. May your end, may your eyes be open. And that same anointing of clarity that is upon me come upon you that you will be able to know and understand with clear eyes and clear sight, clear sensing. Clairvoyance, clear audience, clear aliens, clear gustins, clear cognizance, clear sentience. That Yah is with you and he's leading you by the hand. For he is the great shepherd. And I want to encourage you as much as you will, as much as you that would believe the prophet of Yah. I want to encourage you as a way to say thanks and as a, as a worship unto the Lord by giving into the ministry by giving into the ministry helping the Levite stay fed I want to encourage you to hit that PayPal up and give a donation of $11.11 .11. you may say well that's really nothing you know what it's not about the amount 
it's, to be honest, it's about the numerology. And if you study 1111, I don't have to say no further. I don't have to say or, or teach you what's about to be activated when you do the donation of 11 and 11. All right, so I encourage you, don't think about it. Don't try to rationalize it. Just do it by faith. And I honestly believe as a result of you being obedient and being a giver, cheerful giver, cheerful at that, there's something that's going to happen in your life that's going to just, as it were, <laughs> the Lord was speaking to me about this last night, as it were, things are going to happen as it were by accident, favor, miracles, breakthrough. This is going to happen as it were by chance. It's going to seem that way. Like you're going to not expect it. So go ahead and get that donation right now to my PayPal. It is in the description of $11.11. .11. And I will be praying over every seed, every donation you give into the ministry. And also, I'll be praying over those who do not so. And while you're at it, please like, drop a comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my other platforms. I want you to raise your vibration and step into your seed of creation. That's my trademark. That's my slogan. You better not steal it or I'm coming for you. Peace.